According to Deontay Wilder fans, Wilder's the only fighter in history who started boxing at the late age of 19. Therefore, it was okay for him to fight 25 nobodies to help him out. Realistically, 35 nobodies to help him out. And basically teach him how to be a professional fighter. Right? Basically learn in the job. I read a comment on a boxing forum the other day that rang me back to memory lane. Because this whole excuse that Deontay Wilder started late so he was allowed to fight shit opposition to help him as a fighter or develop as a fighter. Uh... The dude was talking about this, this, you know, he, he turned pro 19. This, I, I made a video debunking this before, and I'm going to say it again. He is not the only fighter who turned pro, or no, who started boxing at 19. Therefore, it was okay for him to, you know, learn in the job and take his sweet time. Dominic Brazil started boxing at 23 years old. Yeah, he was four years older than Deontay Wilder. He started boxing in the year 2008 when he was 23. He turned pro in the year 2012. So after just four years of being in the amateurs, he was a professional. He had turned pro. Just five years into his career, he was challenging Anthony Joshua for the IBF Heavyweight Championship of the World. So get this. Dominic Brazil turning pro, I mean, started fighting, start, started boxing at 23, four years older than Josh, than a Wilder. He turns pro 2012, just four years after first learning the sport and the martial arts of boxing. Then just five years later and just 16 fights later, he's facing Anthony Joshua for a world heavyweight championship belt. Why didn't Dominic Brazil feel that he wasn't ready? Why didn't Dominic Brazil say that, you know what, let me fight another extra 20 fights? Why didn't Dominic Brazil's team tell Dominic Brazil, no, you should fight 30 bums and then fight for a world title? Why did Dominic Brazil immediately fight? I mean, why did he fight for a world title with just 15 fights? Because he had self-belief in himself. So I don't want to hear this excuse that Deontay Wilder started too late, 19, and it was okay for him to cherry pick when Dominic Brazil started 23, and he was fighting for a world title at, at, at in 15 fights into his career. Gerald Washington, the dude that uh, was outboxing Deontay Wilder, he started boxing at 30, I believe. No, 28. He was nine years older than Deontay Wilder was when he started boxing. He turned pro at age 30. So he starts boxing in the year 2010 when he was 28 years old. He was a grown man. By 2012, he turned pro. By 2016, no, by 2017, just five years after turning pro and just having seven years of full boxing experience. And I believe he had like 19 pro fights at the time too. He challenges Deontay Wilder for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. So why is it that Gerard Washington was able to fight for a world title and against a world champion with only 7 years total boxing experience and just having under 20 fights? Why didn't his team cherry pick, you know... You know, feed him basically 35 bums. Why didn't his team do this? Why did they put him in there with a champion with less than 20 fights? Why? Because his team had self-belief in, in Gerard Washington. Anthony Joshua started boxing in the year 20, 2007 when he was 18. He spends five years in the amateurs. Wins gold for the UK in the London Olympics back in 2012. Turns pro late 2013. By 2016, he becomes a champion. By 2017, he's fighting the former unified heavyweight champion of the world. And the long and the the 
long reigning champion, former unified champion, who was a champion for nine years, right? Who defended his world belts for nine years, which was, of course, Vladimir Klitschko. Why didn't his team feed Anthony Joshua 35 buns, 35 buns before putting him in there with Vladimir Klitschko? Why were they able to do this for Anthony Joshua? And with less than 20 fights, they had the confidence in him in Joshua to put him in there because they had self-belief in Joshua. Because Joshua himself had self-belief in himself. He believed that he could be Klitschko. And he believed that he could be Charles Martin and become a champion. This is why I don't like hearing these excuses where Deontay Wilder fans or fanboys... Because it's a mixture. Some some of the people who say this are fanboys or, or some of them are fans. But they still say this. I don't want to hear these excuses where I see boxing fans saying. Or Deontay Wilder fans saying that. It's okay for Wilder to have cherry picked his first 30 fights. Because of the fact that he turned pro at 19. And you know he had to develop himself as a fighter. So they were doing this to help him out and develop him as a fighter. That's like I said, and I already showed you, I exposed it, I debunked this in this video. That's complete nonsense because, again, uh, Brazil, Washington, and Dominic Brazil, and uh, Joshua, both Brazil and, and Washington were much older than Wilder was when they learned boxing. They And both of them, and all, and all three of them had half the fights of Wilder before they challenged Actually, more than half the fights the Wilder had before they challenged the four world titles, and you know they they didn't spend ten years or fighting forty opponents to do this. This is why I say it's it's about having self belief. It's about your team having belief in you, and it's about being protected. The teams of Washington, Brazil, and Joshua had self belief in them, in their fighters, and they weren't protecting their fighters. They weren't they they were like you know what let's see if you could do it, and they put them in there. When it came to Wilder, he was being protected. And they didn't have self-belief in him. This is why they, they fed him all these... They, they, keep, they kept fitting him these uh, horrible, you know, horrific opposition. This is what I'm saying, guys. That's just an excuse when you see people saying it's okay for him to do this because he started boxing late. No, that's just an excuse. That's an excuse. And I already showed you the people who were older than Wilder and were willing to challenge themselves themselves much earlier and much faster. And they, they didn't need to, you know, cherry pick 35 fighters to have the confidence in themselves to actually fight for a world title or fight a legit heavyweight. They just, they had the self-confidence in themselves before they had 20 fights.